Biden's economic reform. Youth and inexperience are no match for maturity and determination. In 1992, in the English coal mining town of St. Helens, Brian and Lynn Turner are about to have a baby. I'd really like to be more than a mother to my child. I'd like to be a friend as well. Hello, Sussie. Hello, sweet. Brian is a miner, and his job is threatened. Hayley Louise. Hayley Louise Turner, the first of <coughs> our babies. Soon after her birth, baby Hayley's parents and the miners lose the battle to keep their pit open. Across the Atlantic, within shouting distance of the Earth summit in Rio, baby Rosa Maria also came into the world. Her family lives in Rossinha, a shanty town or favela, where over 60,000 people live squeezed against the hills overlooking the apartments of the rich. Rosa Maria's dad has already abandoned them. An uncle, José, now takes care of the family. The problem is, there are a few people who are rich and many who have nothing. It's too bad I happen to be one of the many who have nothing. Angela Dada is a big, healthy baby, born in a tropical paradise, Papua New Guinea. We are a poor country, but we've been told about plans to dig a gold mine. Angela's dad cherishes a dream. I didn't get the chance to go to university, so I hope the gold mine means my daughter will. At the same time, thousands of miles away, baby Martins came into the world in the town of Yelgava in Latvia. This is the reason why Mara, baby Martin's mum, is worried. The doctors say that sickness is endemic in the towns near the old chemical plants. Life is hard, but I'm still very happy to have this son. I want him to have a better life than us. This is the biggest currency swap in history. Then it's the euro for good. There are known knowns. When you're eating pretzels, chew before you swallow. It's 10 years after the Earth Summit was held. And in Rosinha, the favela in Rio, Rosa Maria is a lively 10-year-old. I want the roof fixed. And I want a swimming pool. Is there anything about Rosinha you would like to change? Yes. You need to put a stop to the shooting, both by the police and the criminals. In Britain, 10-year-old Haley's had a more stable family background. Haley's dad, Brian, is on a freelance contract working for a local fairground. It's different. I'm working outside, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time. It's um, a big change, big change yet again. Every generation has its share of nightmares and bogeymen. For Haley, it's this. I know what terrorism is when people are nasty to other people. Can you tell me about that? Um, people on um, September the 11th was taking over the drivers of the plane and killing them so they could drive them into the twin towers and knock them down and pe quite a few people died. And what do you think about that? That's very upsetting. In Latvia, we're thrilled to find Martins is a healthy 10-year-old. 
So do you feel grown up? Don't swing your leg. Speak up. Do you feel like a grown up yet? Yeah, yeah that's right. Martin's dad, Modrus, has an eye condition that's left him partially blind. He no longer works. I wish my dad could see again. That way we could play football like we used to. There are a lot of issues here. The sort of society and the way it's going. So We've returned to Papua New Guinea to catch up with Angela, born on the small island of Lihir, where a new gold mine promised to bring development. Angela's now 19 and a student at the National High School of Excellence, where she is sitting her final exams. Angela's school is 500 miles from her home on Lihir Island. This is my cube. Okay, yeah, these are my books. But at home, when I find it difficult, I used to go and ask my dad to assist me in doing my homework. So when I came, it's like there's no one so that I can go to. Exams are finally over and Angela is heading home. I think the mining is both good and bad. On the good side, they've made the roads and provided infrastructure and schools. But as for the environment, the mining has caused a lot of damage. On the opposite side of the world, in Latvia, Martins is also now 19. The economy's been in recession. Martins isn't put off by the recession. He wants to open a business and thinks he knows what. He's gone to catering school. The plan is to have my own restaurant. But I have to get experience first. 20 years after we started filming, we're back in Rio, where it all began with the Earth Summit. Rosa Maria now has an 18-month-old son of her own, Gustavo. And the father? He's gone. Like her father before her, he's abandoned them. Were you planning to get pregnant? No. Rosa Maria now has a new partner. Despite her guardian's best efforts, Rosa Maria struggled at school from a young age, and she left early. I left at 17. I was doing nothing at school, no homework. I only wanted to play. Since we were last here, Rosa Maria's neighborhood has changed dramatically, and, as her brother knows, for the better. There is football, ballet, everything you can think of is there for the kids to have fun. The mothers can all send their kids there, where they can learn to be responsible and get something out of life. I don't want this. I'm a proud person, and I don't want to depend on anyone. I want to go back to work and give the best to my baby Gustavo. That's all I want. We've returned to St. Helens to see what's become of our first Earth Summit child, Haley Turner. Just as Haley was born, the coal pit her dad Brian and the town of St. Helens depended on was being closed. Since then, Brian managed on a string of freelance contracts. He worries the future may be harder for Haley. For an 18-year-old now who's struggling to find work, I think it's a very hard and a very difficult time for them. Years of economic decline have had an impact on Haley's generation. 
Most of my friends from school now have children. So they've started having children, what age, like 17, 18? 15 onwards. If they're still together with the child's father, the mother and father can claim together. Ex terra loose end. From the earth comes light. I'd rather fight through it all and go to university, get a decent education, decent job, and then me think about children. Yeah.